Hi, my name is Shristi and welcome to day 13 of the 30 day mean stack Honolulu challenge. Um, today we're going to create some customers. Um, but before we do that, I'm just going to finish off styling off the um, create customer page that we were working on yesterday. Um, so let's have a look at where we left this page. Now, just a reminder that we are going to turn this particular page into uh, a modal window. Um, so we will be able to reuse a lot of what we've already done, but there will be a couple of changes that we make um, over the next few days. So a um, couple of things that I want to do. I want to take this little logo here and make it really nice and big so it takes up more of the space, um, very similar to the, um, the wireframe. Um, and I also want to see if I can align the checkbox um, over to the, the left. So let's let's do that. So starting with the um, the icon first. So at the very top here, we've got the Glyphicon. We know that it's a user's, user Glyphicon. What I'm going to do is just add a new um, class and we'll, we'll, we'll decide what, um, what we want this to do in a minute. So we'll call this, say, Cust Profile. Um, and the other thing that we want to do is we want to align the referred checkbox to the left. So jump down to referred, which is over here, um, and just add in um, a class next to that. Let's just call that um, oh, checkbox left. Okay, so we've got the two classes. Now, in order to actually do something with those classes, we need to create a CSS file. Um, we could reuse the CSS files from the other modules, but just to keep the modules nice and clean, uh, we will create a new one. So if we go to um, public modules, customers, and then go to CSS, um, we see there's nothing in there at the moment. So we'll just go and create a new file. We um, just call that uh, customers and just make sure it's got a CSS Okay, so within that file, so the customers.css, uh, we want to put in the two references that we've just created. So the first one was um, cust profile, I think. Um, and the second one was, what was it, checkbox uh, left. Okay, so for cust profile, what I want to do is um, is make it really nice and big. So we'll just change, all we have to do to make it um, bigger is just change the font size. So uh, something really big, let's go with like huge, 250 pixels. Um, and for checkbox left, there's a couple of things that we have to do. So we've got currently, um, if we have a quick look at the element, um, we can see down in form control that when form control is applied, it's assuming that we want to take up the whole width of the column. We can see that there's a width of 100%. So what we want to do is actually, um, we, want to, we want to narrow that down and just make that like 10% of, um, of the width of that column. So we'll go with um, um, width of, uh, say, 10%, and we want to align um, text align to left. Okay, so let's save that. All right, so now that that's refreshed, what, what we've got is a nice big um, icon in the middle there, so the icon fonts that we're using, um, and we've got our checkbox uh, lined over to the left. So that's starting to look a little bit closer to our, um, our wireframe. Now, one more thing that I want to do is in our wireframes, we can see that we've actually got um, some some colors going on over here. So I want to show you how to add um, colors, kind of classes, dynamically to our HTML. So let's um, let's go to our create customer again, um, but this time we're we're going to go um, over to the the Glyphicons area. So that's where. Um, where our, our class currently is. But at the end of this, I want to add an ng class. Uh, and within it, we're going to just put in some brackets. And then within that, I'm just going to use two colors. So I'll go with um, ooh, blue and uh, red to begin with. So we'll go um, text primary, which is blue. Um, but we only want it to be text primary if, um, if referred Oops, is true. 
Otherwise, uh, we want uh, text danger if referred is um, is not true. So to make it not true, we just put a big ex exclamation mark. Okay, and that's that's pretty much it. Now for clarity, and sorry, I don't have to scroll back and forth. You can just throw that on the next line, um, and that will be picked up for you. So let's just go and have a bit of a quick play with that. And um, at the same time, the other thing I want to do is just create uh, a couple of customers. Okay, so there's the the text danger because it's not currently selected. And as soon as I select that, you see that it changes to blue. So that's um, a nice little Angular class kind of doing its little magic there. Kind of cool. You can just kind of click that all day. Um, so let's create some customers. Now I'm interested to see, because at this point in time, I haven't actually logged into the app. So if you were a betting person, would you you would you think that we should be able to create customers without actually having gone through and signed up or signed in um, to our app. Let's let's have a look. So let's say I tried to save. Oh, there you go. So straight away the apps told me it threw me an error message and it said, hey, user has not logged in and it's taken me to the, um, the login page. So that's kind of clever. Um, I'm not overly impressed that it let me get all the way to that page, um, but that's you know, something we could work on. Um, but the, there's two things in that that I um, wanted to point out. Firstly, the error message, if you saw it, kind of appeared down the bottom. So I want to move that at the top to be consistent with our other errors. Um, and you may notice by now that all our error messages all have the same syntax. So I can actually just remove um, this error from here. And I'll just go and grab one from um, what we had done earlier. So for example, when we looked at the users module, um, in authentication and um, sign up and sign in, we put this big error at the top. So let me just copy that and I'll go to create and I'll just add that inside the row at the top. And that would just go all the way across the top of that row. So that's kind of neat. Um, so. Um, at this point, just go ahead and um, sign in or create a user and sign into your app. Then we'll navigate across to the customers page. So cool. So here we are. Um, now, the cool thing about having actually logged in, instead of having to navigate directly to the URLs, um, when we were going through the Yeoman generator, we, uh, we asked for customers to be added to the menu. So we can get around by using the customer menu. So I'm going to go to new customer, which is the page that we've been working on. There you go. There's our lovely little customer. So let's go ahead and add uh, a couple of customer records. So um, if I go to um, functional design, one of the customers we have is Ali Connors. So let me go and set Ali up. So Ali Connors, oops. Um, say that she lives in Melbourne. Um, and she's been referred to us. Um, the channel that she came in through was, let's say, by Facebook. And the industry that she's in is, um, ooh, let's say, health. So save that. So what that has done is it's created a customer for us. Um, and if you remember, when we were looking at the controller, one of the um, one of the kind of parts of the function was that once the save had occurred, um, it was going to send us to this um, this path for customers slash response ID. So if you see at the top, it's actually pushed us to that path. So it's taken us down that route. So if you look again at the routes, um, which is this one here, so customers to customer ID, it's taken us to this view. Now there's not a whole lot of interesting information on this view because we haven't really um, looked at the view and uh, we haven't mapped any of our data to the view like we have to our create page. Um, and this is um, what we're going to work on um, in the next couple of days. So I'm going to leave it here for today. Um, thanks for joining me. And uh, yeah, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And uh, we'll, we'll kick off tomorrow. We'll have uh, along the way, explore um, a little bit of the Mongo Explorer 
um, and look at a concept that Angular provides for Chrome called Batarang. Um, cool. Well, I'll see you tomorrow.